This is Eric from PowerBookMedic.com. Today we'll be taking apart the Nexus 7. First we'll start by removing the back case and there should just be a few clips on both sides that hold it on. There's the back case. Inside you'll see the battery and this is what we'll be taking out next. So what you'll want to do is unplug the cable up here and there's a little bit of, he of adhesive down on the bottom side down here is pretty much all that's holding it on. We'll just slide it up and that's it. That's all it takes to remove the battery. Next we'll be removing this copper film that's on top and it just slides right off. It's just adhered on some sticky stuff. And that's it. All right. Now the next thing we'll be removing is the uh, speaker assembly down here at the bottom. So all you'll need is a Phillips head for that one. plug the cable over here. And that should be it for the speaker assembly. Now the next part will be the I.O. Uh, data cable which will be this big long yellow one here. It's just a clip down here in the bottom. That pops out. Just a little bit of adhesive on the back of it. Then there's a adhesive strip up here that we'll be taking off. And again, just another clip up here that will be taken off. And then it should just slide right out. All right. The next portion of it will be the I.O. assembly down here that's got the charger port and the uh, headphone jack. And again, there's just a few Phillips head screws that hold it on there. of adhesive here and there's a screw underneath it as well. And that should be it. The next we're going to be taking out the motherboard. It's pretty self-explanatory. There's just a series of screws around the edge. And the one that you also want to watch out for is up here, which has got the uh, warranty seal on it. It'll be covered up by a little sticker. Let me take a look at that. Peel off these. Uh, probably want to try and keep these intact. But peel it away so that you can undo this cable here, which goes to the... Uh, assembly that controls your uh, switches on the side. You can 
peel away this film if you need to. There's also a cable here that you'll need to undo. And there's another warranty sealed screw over here in this corner. to get these other cables that are on the other side of the, the main board here. And there's just two clips holding it on. There's one screw underneath those that you want to watch out for. And that's all there is to the uh, main board. And it looks like there's a, uh, a microphone that's also down here in the corner. It came off when we lifted it up. And then here you'll find the camera on the other side, which would be the front facing camera. We'll just go ahead and pop that off there. There's the camera. Right, next we'll be taking out the mid board. It's basically just this aluminum frame here, just held in by a few screws. Also, one other thing I'd like to point out, um, this will be the LCD cable that plugs onto the, the main board, and this will be the digitizer cable if you need to ever replace those for any reason. That should be good for the mid board. It just lifts right out. And that's about it. Um, this is about as far as you can go. The uh, LCD and the digitizer are both made together, so we won't be prying those apart. Um, but for whatever reason, if you need to replace any of these cables, this is where you'd be able to access them from. So that's about it for the Nexus.